you. Uh-huh. I know you. I know you. I know you cheated. What? That's right. I've seen your text messages. We're done. In general, it's agreed that cheating is when one person in a committed relationship breaks the commitment of the relationship, typically involving a third party or another person. Why do we cheat? And why do happy people cheat? And when we say infidelity, what exactly do we mean? Is it a hookup, a love story, paid sex, a chat room, a massage with happy endings? Why do we think that men cheat out of boredom and fear of intimacy, but women cheat out of loneliness and hunger for intimacy? Let's get this highlight reel started. Well, to me, my opinion, and again, as you say, everybody's definition of cheating is so different. So I would say, obviously, like, physically cheating, well, that's a given. Like, if you're kissing somebody or you sleep with somebody, or that's a given, right? It might be a one-night stand or many different one-night stands or a long-term physical-only relationship that a person is having. But this type of infidelity stems from the desire for sex. It's not about creating a relationship or a friendship or a companionship. It really is only about the sex. President Clinton, you can remember back in the day, he was like, it's not cheating. It was only a blowjob. It's not cheating. It's only like cyber sex. It's not cheating. We were only Skyping sex. It's not cheating. It was only this. It was only that. It was only that. It's cheating. It's cheating. All of it's cheating. Cheating, 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 cheating. Just because you don't have the penetration doesn't excuse the act of cheating. I also feel like, you know, um, I wouldn't never, I don't think watching porn is cheating. And I can say with complete certainty that it weakened my sexual desire and attraction for my partner. And that when I was having sex with my partner, I would end up imagining porn while I was having sex with him. I would think about other stuff while I'd be having sex with my partner. And that is such a disservice to your partner because I look back on those experiences and I think like, wow, like this person was like, we were in engaging in such an intimate act together. They were giving me their body. They were giving me their attention. They were giving me their, their, um, their, they were giving me pleasure and they deserved to have my full attention. They deserved to have my full presence in such an intimate act where they're giving me their body. But instead, I would be off in my head imagining other stuff. They would have no idea about it. And it, it created disconnection in the long run. And I also feel like an emotional connection is also cheating. I, like, I feel like nearly emotional connection with somebody else is nearly even worse than a physical, you know, a one soft yeah. type thing. So what is emotional cheating? Is forming a strong and intimate emotional bond with someone other than your partner while simultaneously disconnecting from your partner. So you're not physically or sexually cheating on your partner, but you are giving someone else that emotional affection and affection that would normally be reserved for a romantic partner. Also, I do want to say that if you do send you know, some type of a, sex a picture that's sexualized in nature or text messages that's flirtatious or sexy in nature as well. Um, it is, you know, a way to actually create an emotional barrier between you and your other half and create that emotional connection with somebody else. You dress nicer for other people than you do your partner. You're trying to impress others um, more than you're more than you're trying to impress your partner. Once in a while, that's okay. I might, you might go to a party or something and your partner says, I love you, I don't care what you wear. But when you significantly are choosing it and you do it more when you're around certain people or certain couples, that says something. And I just would love it if couples would talk about it, open themselves up because remember you're a team, should be able to talk about everything together. Was lying about how close you are with someone. So for example, if you're asking your partner 
partner about someone and they say, oh, Stacy from work? No, I, I don't really know her that well, when in reality they're getting lunch with her every single day. But also sometimes people will literally tell you they don't have a Either they don't have feelings for their friend just so they can make you feel comfortable to keep that relationship going. Because if they tell you, well, my friend and me hooked up in the past or my friend and me, you know, have an attraction towards each other, you're not going to be comfortable with the relationship, right? So there's a lot of people who do keep that side of it secretive. And I feel like that is deceitful. I feel like if there's an attraction there or if you guys have been together intimately or anything in the past, I feel like it's very very important to express that to your partner and I feel like that's something that both of you guys should definitely communicate about while you're in the relationship you know to me what I consider cheating the main thing is the secretive nature of it yes. like, like right. not telling me about it because if my partner had a sexual attraction to someone else or even like I don't know just a bond with someone yeah. which you can't really control no and um, and if he had that and was even acting on it like going for coffee with someone, some girl that he was, yeah. you know, and not telling me about it. Yeah. That would shatter me. It would shatter me. But if it's shady and you're cryptic and you're hiding and you're sneaking and you're scheming and you're shady, then that's cheating. Anything shady, rule of thumb, zero tolerance to shady. If it seems like it's disingenuous and not honest and not open and not legit and just reeking of the shady then you gotta cut it loose now i pose this question to you and to this situation if you are considering cheating or maybe you might have you might have cheated or you feel like someone has cheated on you if you have to ask is blank considered cheating is phone sex is flirting is holding hands is meeting up with your ex is if this is considered cheating you if you have to ask the question then it probably is and ask yourself by me sending this picture or me sending this text is this something that my significant other would approve of yes or no if the answer is no don't send it you don't want to put yourself in a situation vi or violate a relationship rule or boundary that's going to cause tension in your relationship. Um, it is really interesting though because dating nowadays is not at all what it used to be in the past. Mm -hmm. Not only because there's so much choice now, like, and people have this imaginary endless buffet of people that Stop. because they can just you can go on an app and you can just all night and all day yeah. long and it's but like how regularly does that translate into actual real but sex or dates N not much i feel like it's dangerous because people go on these sites and they're like i could have i could be with any one of these people like yeah. you know what i mean it's like I have so much choice, but whereas like back in the day, there wasn't choice. Like it's like they unless they don't have so much choice. No, but it's I know. But people in their brains, it's that's perceived, how it's programming. Perceived choice in the brain. Mm -hmm.